So, our next question is asking us to convert 0.375 to a fraction. So, convert 0 0.7, oh, sorry, 75 to fraction. Okay. All right, so this was step one. We need to count the number of decimal. So count the number of decimal place to the right of the decimal point. Count the number of decimal place to the right. Of the decimal point. Okay, so in our case, we got 0 0.375. So in this case, the n is equal to 3. Okay? Mm -hmm. So step two will be the multiplier. And we need to multiply the decimal number by 10 to the exponent of n, where n in our case would be 3, and um, divide by 10 to the exponent of n, right? Because we want to maintain the original value as the same. So 10 to the exponent of n over 10 to the exponent of n is equal to 1. And 1 times anything will just be the number itself, right? OK, so we're substituting the uh, value of n. Okay, so we will have 0 0.375 times 10 to the exponent instead of n, we lost 3. So over 10 to the exponent of 3. So we will get 0 0.375 times 10 to the exponent of 3 over 10 to the exponent of 3 then we know that 10 to the exponent of 3 is equal to 1,000, right? So, in other words, <coughs> as a times 10 to the exponent of 3, the decimal point will move to the right for 3 units. Therefore, we get 375 as our numerator and 1,000 as our denominator, okay? Oops, I was just write it here. Okay, so now we're done with the multiply step, and then we need to do our third step, which is our last step as well, which is simplify. Simplify. Okay, we need to simplify the number we got from step two into its lowest term, if possible. Okay, so now let's see, we got 375 over 1000. Okay, and we know that both um, numerator and denominator are either n in 5 or n with a 0. So that means it can at least divide by 5. So let's do that. So 375 divided by 5 is 75. And 1000 divided by 5 is just 200. And it's ending with either 5 or 0 again, so we can divide by 5 for both numerator and denominator again. So 75 divided by 5 is 15. And 200 divided by 5 is 40. Okay. Yeah, and the same thing again. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 40 divided by 5 is 8. And now you can see the 3 and 8 doesn't have any uh, common factor, so that will be our final answer. So, so 3 over 8. Okay, so first let's write down the conclusion. Therefore, 0 0.375 is equal to 3 over 8.
Mm -hmm. And that in the that is in the decimal form, and so eight it in the fraction form. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So let's just uh, review the step of solving this type of question. So first we need to count the number of decimal place to the right of the decimal point to determine what our n is. And second, we need to multiply, where we need to multiply the original value by 10 to the exponent of n over 10 to the exponent of n, and where n is what we get from the first step. So after getting that, we might get a value that could be simplified further. So that comes our third step, which is simplifying, and then uh, we need to find the common factors for both the numerator and denominator and then do our calculation in order to get our simplest form and that's just how we do this type of question okay so let's look at uh, junior tutors and three yeah so if you know that 375 and 1000 can divide by 1, 2, 5 and you can just do that in one step I mean Either way works, you can do it like what I just showed, you can do it in several steps, or you can just do it in one step, okay? Okay, so let's do the common solution is cool.